I think what I look for in a part is a challenge. Um, I really like to mix it up, you know, try and do something different from what I've previously done. Um, I also, you know, look out for the writers and the cast who I could be possibly working alongside. Um, same with directors, just people who I, who I would like to work with and, um, yeah, just something different in each role is my biggest, my biggest aim, I would say. I think preparing for a role varies depending on the part. Like, I've just finished a big period drama, so there was a lot of research that went into the history. Um, with 13, I researched, you know, stories of victims who'd been kidnapped. So it, I think it depends on, on the project. Um, but I do kind of leave a lot to the day. I kind of believe a lot that happens in the moment. I think you can only do so much and then you've got to just let it be and, and yeah. I think collaborating is very led by the people you're working with. I think everyone has their own way of working and, and, and that's what's amazing about being on set is you learn a lot about people and, and you know, people have their own. Some people have to get in the zone, like some people, you know, can jump in and out of character. So it's like being respectful of what everyone's kind of process is. I think I'm just very open, you know, I think, and, and I think when two actors are very open and, um, you know, for trying things and, and, you know, trust in each other, I think that's when you get the best, best work out of people. Directors are the same, you know, every, every, we're all human and everyone is very different. So directors can have very different approaches on, um, you know, you could go on a job and the director has a whole different idea of what this character is like or where she is in this particular part of the story and then it's up to you guys to discuss it and maybe try it one way and then try it the other and usually there's like a middle ground or sometimes you'll realise that, yeah, you were probably wrong but I, I think it's always nice to be given the opportunity by a director to, um, you know, to have your say and, and, and bring your ideas to, to play. The person who I always make friends with first is usually the costume standby. Um, Maya Gibbs, who is my costume standby on The White Princess, seen me at my worst. They're with me all the time, like dressing me, undressing me. Like You get very close to those people because they're with you a lot um, and they're kind of looking after you. So yeah, I would say costume standby are the people I initially get very, very close to. Catering's always a good one as well. A lot of people say catering you get an extra, a bigger slice of cake or, you know, all those pros. <laughs> when I was 16, I had to leave my first agent. My mum and dad have been very good in um, kind of taking a back seat, always being there to support me, but always kind of making sure that I take the reins. So I remember having to ring my first agent when I was like 15, 16 and tell them that I was leaving, <laughs> um, which for, at the time was, huge but I think I kind of realized that I had to grow up a lot and, and I had to take responsibility for um, you know my own decisions um, and I think that's played a massive part in my career I've always kind of been headstrong in the decisions that I make and um, I've kind of trust my gut instinct but yeah that was a big challenge and then I think the everyday you know you might do 30 auditions and you still don't get a role so there's a lot there's a lot of rejection, but you, you, you can't get disheartened by it. Um, so that's a challenge. I think as, as I've gotten a little bit older, I've learned to let go a little bit more. Like I'll still come out of an audition and go, why did I say that line like that when I could have said it this way? Like, I think most people are the same. Um, but as I've got older, I'm a bit better at going, okay, well, if it works out, it's meant to be. If it, if it doesn't, then that's fine. Because a lot of the time you don't hear if you haven't got it, it's just kind of like, Okay, that one, that one didn't go my way. That's okay. Um, and you know, like brushing, brushing your shoulders off and, and going into the next one with a, with a positive attitude. I have spent a lot of time looking at what other people are doing in their careers and comparing, and I don't think that's healthy. I think, you know, you're on your own track. Just concentrate on yourself and can't, yeah, don't worry about what anyone else is doing. I think that's what, yeah, my, what my advice would be. Mm -hmm.